A few days ago, old mate here at the Backyard Tech Channel took a look at a new operating system. A good mate of the Backyard Tech Channel, Silent Robot, has released his own Arch Linux spin called Silent OS. And on real metal, well, wow, it flew. But in a virtual environment, eh, it wasn't so crash hot. This video is a follow-up system setup and product review video for Silent OS. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is System Setup and Product Review time again here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Friday morning and this is a bit of a follow-up video to Silent OS's, si uh, sorry, Silent Robot, <laughs> his uh, arch spin, Silent OS. Now, on real metal as we saw, it flew. It was really snappy. Even on that old test rig of mine, it flew. But when we jammed it into ESXi, it was a bit laggy bit slow uh, old mate could have used it but there were plenty of people out there who may have found it just too slow to use these days I've said this many times and before people's patience aren't exactly there they don't want to wait for anything they want to they want an operating system they want it then and they when they open an application they want it in their face straight away now under ESXi which we gave it exactly the same specs as real metal except obviously it was 400 megs slower on the proc, but under under a, a bare metal hypervisor, it was a bit laggy. It was a bit slow to respond, okay? Which is understandable. It is completely understandable. However, Silent has apparently fixed up some of the virtualization platform that was required and he's tweaked it a little bit. So what we're gonna do is a bit of a follow-up sticky beak to Silent OS. Let's get into it. All right, so exactly the same specs as the original one. So quad core CPU, four gig of RAM, and a 120 gig drive. Oop. Let's see how it goes now. Oh, now that's better. That's actually See how quickly this goes. We will take a look at this on real metal too, um, probably tomorrow. Uh, I've got other um, videos lined up for today, so we'll look at um, we'll look at this in a virtual, and then tomorrow we'll look at it on real metal. For those that don't know, um, the Nvidia. Uh, version of Silent OS, which has got all the NVIDIA drivers pre-installed, actually failed on real metal. Um, it sat for half an hour with started network time service. So, huh. Okay, this does look a little bit different. Um, first thing I've got to do, I want to blow out that display if I can. Do we get 1900 by 1080 off the bat? No, so we'll have to go to 1400 by 900, I'd say. Righto, now, where's install it? Huh. Where does he put install? Um. Hang on a minute, I'm going to have to go and find. Old mate's a dummy. <laughs> Oh, help me. Old mate's an idiot. <sighs> He's put it under system. 
Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, call me stupid. Alrighty, let's do this. It's actually a little bit more snappy, I can already see that. It's a little bit quicker to respond. All right. Oh, I've spelled that wrong. Again, I'm just going to use the same password for the administrator account, okay? Um, because I can. Um, we know the rules and regulations. You're supposed to change your user password from your admin password, but old mate's just being lazy. All right, now, I've got to bring up that information about, um, if I can find it, what we have to do once it's inside. I can already tell it's more snappy. It's a lot more snappier. Um, again, I've got Silence logo though, which is obviously not ideal. I need to find that, uh, I think it's that one, is it not? No, it is that one. So I need the commands, well you guys can't see it, but the commands from the other one. Because as you know, with a rolling release of Arch, before you start using it, you've got to run your updates. That's why old mate gets into trouble a lot, because he doesn't run his updates first, does he? Alright, so let's, um, while this is installing, let me go through some of what he's done. So we've got a live USB, it's Arch Linux, it's BIOS or UEFI. It's rolling release, AUR is supported. We've got uh, Parmac and Yay is included at the SFCE desktop, which obviously is one of my favorite desktop environments. Uh, beautiful de bar design, we've got the Calamares installer. It's optimized for gaming. Hmm. Not that I'll use it for gaming. <laughs> Optimised for multimedia. That's all right. We've got cups printer support in this one. We've got an uncluttered desktop. That's true. You can see that. Quick menu access. We've got Lutris and Steam are both included and system limits optimised. So there's quite a bit in there. Um, and look, like I've said, like I said when we first looked at Silent OS. He's put a lot of effort into this, guys. Uh, even from old mate who's not a big fan of Arch, the effort that he has put into this is phenomenal. Now, every spin that I look at from an individual, whether it's Dan Calloway, Data Pioneer, Paul Turner, um, Silent Robot, um, Ben Fitzpatrick, they all put an enormous amount of effort into these operating systems and I'm no Arch fan but even I've got to admit I've found myself well I found myself using it in real metal on that test rig so I've got Gurman Linux on one of my laptop hard drives and I've got Silent OS on the test rig I mean, I'm not a fan of Arch, and yet for some reason, Silent OS, I don't know what it is, it, it and Gurman Linux appear to be what I would consider my two only Arch Linuxes that haven't broken on me. So... I mean, I'm not a gamer, but, you know, the, the work these individuals put into their own Linux spins is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. 
it is unsquashed so it could take a, a little bit but as i said we're running exactly the same spec it's 400 meg slower though um so we'll look at this and then we'll do a real metal review of it tomorrow here at the backyard tech channel i'll jam this onto the test rig on another hard drive um it, it you know i mean people who can make their own linux spins are just extraordinary people they really are I know you're supposed to love Arch the minute you fall, you know, the minute you see it, you're supposed to love it. But when you use MX Linux, when you use HBX, which I did the previous video in because I was busy doing other stuff in Windows, um, when you use MX, I mean, I use MX daily. I use MX every day. I use Ferran nearly every day. Open Man Driver, when I feel like using one of my what i would consider to be a retro operating system yeah i just you know kudos to the developers of these 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 individuals because they do put a lot of work into it um i just you know i prefer to know how the hardware works before i work out the operating system that's why i love working with hardware <laughs> give me an eight CPU, Xeon, you know, server and multiple hard drives and hardware hassles, and I'm in my element trying to get the hardware to work. But these days, see, what you've got to remember now is hardware is looked at as the easy side of it. You know, hardware's like, you know, oh, I don't care what the hardware does. As long as I can run software, I don't care about the hardware. I prefer hardware. I love hardware. You know, been playing around with it all my life figuring out why the hardware is not working <laughs> fault finding issues with hardware you talk to some people now and they're like oh hardware's hardware you know hardware's just for amateurs who know nothing <laughs> eh I get that. I'm going to play around with the e-server tomorrow. I've got to um, fire it up again. Uh, I want to try something with it tomorrow. So I'm going to have a bit of a bash. Oh, don't worry, I won't video it. I'm not allowed to. So, But I'll probably bring the e-server up. Just give it a run. Bring it up to... Well, not boot the operating system, but at least apply both um, standby power and then bring up at least one domain just to keep it you know blow the cobwebs out of it i know i'm not allowed to video it anymore how dare you use a sun server like that backyard it's my server <laughs> i should be allowed to use it any way i want also got to fix my next door neighbor's problem today too that's something else i have to do today too they got a new computer and they don't have any uh i was hoping just to transport the app data folder and that firefox's tabs and history would go over but it didn't go over so i'll have to figure out what's happened unfortunately I may have to actually, you know, fire it back up again. Um, that's the hard drive out of it. Good old trusty Western Digital Blue Caviar. Um, I might just have to, you know, create a temporary uh, Mozilla Sync system so that they can have their details all back. It's rare you come across an Arch Linux. It's only Silent and Dan Calloway's Gurumon that have been simple. Simple Arch. That was actually pretty quick. That was actually pretty quick. It's already... I, yeah. I think this is going to be a little bit better. Oh. 
it didn't pick it up hopefully it'll blow out but I may end up having to uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this oh, it, might, it might blow out to 1920 by 1080 I may not have to install VM tools I may not have, oh, I am going to have to. That's a shame. I was hoping not to, but by the looks of it, I'm going to have to. Because it actually has not detected this time, no. Bugger. All right, well, it's already a bit snappier. I'll say that, it is a little bit snappier. Yeah, see, this time it didn't detect 1920 by 1080. Can we get that, or is that... No, nah, that's not right. See if I can get close to it. Yeah, that's better. We'll run... Uh, we go... No, see, that's... Identify display... Okay, so it didn't pick up 1920 by 1080. I think it's system D, but we'll find out. Oh, first, actually, that's what I've got to do. I've got to run that terminal code, don't I? Before we do anything else. Um, let's have a look here. So what is it I've got to run? Okay, so it's... Yes, you do. P-A-C-U-P-D P-A-C-U-P-D Now that's interesting, it didn't ask me for a password then either Okay Right, and then I've got to do Yes you do P-A-C-U-P-G It is actually a bit snappier. He, he has, you can tell it's a bit snappier. Shame we can't get into 16 by nine. I'll see if I can get VM tools into it, but because my VM tools is INIT rather than system D, we may have a bit of a problem. There's Caden live going in. Open VPN, open CV. Python setup. It's one thing I've never got into is Python and coding. <laughs> I hate coding. This is quicker. This is much, much better. So Chromium update. FFmpeg for thumbs. New optional dependency. Upgrading OpenCV. Upgrading wine staging. That's all right. This is actually a little bit more snappier. It is a little bit more snappier. So he's definitely fixed up the performance. Now remember, this is this is basically the same spec. Now let's see if we've got it now. But I think I'm going to have to put in... Oh, hang on. Okay, let's see if I can get VM tools into it. 
try and get that right resolution. Uh, I need file manager. There it is. VM tools. Copy. I can't guarantee this is going to work. Not sure about the orange. That hurts my eyes, but that's... Some people like those colours. Okay. Oh, hang on. I can't guarantee. So, Archive Manager. That's good. I like that. Extract. To Temp. Now, that's good. That actually means it holds it there, which I also like. It saves you having to go around and looking for it. Close that. Now, as I said, I don't know that this is going to work, but we'll give it a shot. Didn't think so. All right. Um, so this time it hasn't picked up 1920 by 1080. All right. Let's um, let's see what he's got in here, and if we can find it, we might put it in through the package manager instead. Okay, Vim's there this time. That's good. We've got the Caviton manager, HP device manager, Clipman's in there. Development, so Fluid and Meld again. Games, Full Steam, and Lutris, as we as I mentioned before. Gimp's in there, Blender's in there for multimedia. Raw, Therapist, Simple Scan's in there, which is a, actually a really nice little system to use. Chromium, Firefox, Thunderbird for the email, Transmission, uh, Steam, Fire, and uh, Avahi, SSH, and VNC. Multimedia. Okay, so Audacity's there, Caden Lion, and obviously Handbrake, uh, which we're all familiar with. QJack Control, Q or Tractor's in there, Q Tractor's in there. Okay, Office, what's he given us? Nothing. So you have to get your own Office thing. Oh. Settings, we'll have a look at that shortly. System. Software update. Now, where's he put this time? Oh, there it is. Add and remove software. I knew it was somewhere. Um, VM tools. There it is. Commit. Now, I've had a bad run with open VM tools in the past, so we'll see how this goes. Hmm. Okay, so because I've attempted to install VM tools, it's spat the dummy. Oh well. Uh, did we get it? No, we didn't. Alright, well, not much we can do about that, but... Uh, Let's see if we can get any um, desktop icons up. I think we just are able to click and drag them, are we? Yep, we are. No, we're not. Ah, there we go. So we can add that to the desktop. Interwebs. Add to desktop. Huh. Okay. Oh. Ah, there we go. That's better. So, where have all my desktop icons disappeared to? There they are. <laughs> That's better. Now I can see them. Alright, so, arrange desktop icons. There we go. So we've got the file. Oh, we actually don't need that now, do we? Delete. Range desktop icons. That's actually quite nice, isn't it? 
It's a definitely a clean desktop. It's much snappier too. It is faster. Oh, is it ever? Wow. Look at this. This is better. We're on 65.0. This is better. This is much better. Much, much better. Time's right. Yep, time's right. Your system's up to date. What IP did we get? Connection information. There we go. Right, let's check out the SSH performance. Oh. Oh, I've written the wrong. That's actually pretty good, isn't it? This is much better. Much, much snappier. Far more responsive. There's SSR. Steam, I'm not going to worry about. Luterus. Blender. Blender's useless for me because I'm colorblind. So, we'll go and have a look at some of the multimedia stuff. Q tractor. Is this what I think it is? Oh, it's actually going to have a problem here. It is too. That's what I thought. Yep. I know that. I now know what... It, it's... Uh, yeah. LMMS is in there. OBS. There's a lot. Oh, X Falso's in there. Pulse Audio. The only thing I'd probably add would be VLC. But this is much better. This is much, much better. Hell of a lot better. Let's get in and have a look at the file system. And the ETC folder is obviously pretty big, as you can see. See if we've got network, which we do. Look at that. So it's picked up my HBX2 virtual machine. It has not picked up either of my MX machines, though. Unless they're under the Windows network. Hmm. Um, so I've got MX two MX 18s that are missing. The NAS is there. Plex is there. Okay, this is actually really good. Really good. I mean, it's a lot snappier, which is what you need. I, I, this is much better. Um, I don't know whether Conky's in here. Has he put Conky in? No, he hasn't. I didn't think he would. Advanced network config. Let's have a stick. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. Uh, let's get into that settings menu. So, ooh, wow. There's a lot in here too. How to remove software. I'm type editor. Wow, look at that. That's actually... Actually, I know how to fix up that VM thing. I should have done that. Um... Ah, Thuna's in there. That's good. Wow. This is really nice. I actually, I actually do like this. It's snappy. It's quick. Um, let's have a look at how much it's pulling. So I've got MX18 on. HBX2 on. Everything else is off. And I'm on 14.4. Yeah, I'm, see, it's not using much, is it? He got. Oh, I think he's got HTOP in here, but we'll just HTOP it here. It's not bad. Load averages are really good this time. Really good. It's it's quick. It it is very quick. This is much better. Much much better. Alright, well that's what it is in a VM. Shame this time it didn't pick up 
1920 by 1080 but we'll actually I'll tell you what we'll try it again I've got silence logo again silent no identity theft uh, meant silent will get a giggle out of that yeah this is see his last one picked it up directly this one hasn't hang on a minute didn't go to full 16 by 9 I should say actually it didn't go to um, 1920 by 1080 but it is nice the only other thing we haven't actually done yet is have a sticky beak through here let's see if we can find a decent desktop background no yes that'll do it Looks a bit like the Victorian high country in the middle of winter. <laughs> it is nice. It is actually very nice. I mean, he's definitely, it's, an, it's a much more uncluttered panel. So you've got all this down the bottom here, which you guys can see. Um, it's much nicer. It is much nicer. It's definitely more snappy. Okay, it is definitely way more snappy. So that's how, it, well, you guys might have better luck in a VM than I've had, but it's definitely much better. Much, 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 much better uh, in a VM. So that's what it'll be like in a VM. Tomorrow we'll have a bit of a sticky beak at it on, uh, on real hardware. Stick around, more coming up today. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.